Good evening. Thanks for joining us for Family Devotions again. Um, we're going to start off by singing hymn number 878, which is Abide With Me. Ready, bud? You sing with us, please. Abide with me, fast falls the eventide. The darkness deepens, Lord, with me abide. When other helpers fail and comforts flee, Help of a helpless soul abide with me. I need thy presence every passing hour. What but thy grace can for the tempter's power? Who like thyself, my guide and stay can be. Through cloud and sunshine, oh, abide with me. Come not in terrors as the King of kings, but kind and good with healing in thy wings. Tears for all woes, a heart for every plea. Come, friend of sinners, thus abide with me. Swift to its close, ebbs of life's little day. Earth's joys grow dim, its glories pass away. Change and decay in all around I see. Just not abide with me. I fear no foe with the at hand to bless. Ills have no weight and tears no bitterness. Where is death's sting? Where grave thy victory? I triumph still if thou abide with me. Hold thou thy cross. Before my closing eyes Shine through the gloom And point me to the skies Heaven's morning breaks And earth's vain shadows flee in life, in death, O oh Lord, abide with me. Good boy. <clears throat> okay, here comes Romans chapter 15, excuse me, Romans chapter 16, and I looked, <laughs> just glanced at it a second ago. I'll warn you, there's a whole lot of greetings, uh, so bear with us on that one, but there's some good things in the, well, it's all good, it's the Bible. Um, but there's some good reminders in between there. I commend to you our sister Phoebe, a servant of the church in Centrea. I ask you to receive her in the Lord in the Lord in a way worthy of the saints, and to give her any help she may need from you, for she's been a great help to many people, including me. 
Greet Priscilla and Aquila, my fellow workers in Christ Jesus. They risked their lives for me. Not only I, but all the churches of the Gentiles are grateful to them. Greet also the church that meets at their house. Greet my dear friend Epinetus, who was the first convert to Christ in the province of Asia. Greet Mary, who worked very hard for you. Greet Andronicus and Junius, my fellow relatives, who've been in prison, to, in prison with me. They're outstanding among the apostles, and they were in Christ before I was. Greet Ampliatus, who I love in the Lord. Greet Urbanus, our fellow worker in Christ, and my dear friend Stachus. Greet Apellus, tested and approved in Christ. Greet those who belong to the household of Aristobulus. Greet Herodian, my relative. Greet those in the household of Narcissus, who are in the Lord. Greet Tryphena and Tryphosa, who's, those women who work hard in the Lord. Greet my dear friend Persis, another woman who's worked very hard in the Lord. Greet Rufus, chosen in the Lord, and his mother, who's been a mother to me, too. Greet Asyncritus, Phlegion, Hermes, uh, Patrobus, Hermas, and the brothers with them. Greet Philologus, Julia, Nereus, and his sister, and Olympus, and all the saints with them. Greet one another with a holy kiss. All the churches of Christ send greetings. I urge you, brothers, to watch out for those who would cause divisions and put obstacles in your way that are contrary to the teaching you have learned. Keep away from them, for such people are not serving our Lord Christ, but their own appetites. By smooth talk and flattery, they deceive the minds of naive people. Everyone has heard about your obedience, so I am full of joy over you. But I want you to be wise about what is good and innocent about what is evil. The God of peace will soon crush Satan under your feet. The grace of our Lord Jesus be with you. Timothy, my fellow worker, sends his greetings to you, as do Lucius, Jason, and Sosipater, my relatives. I, Tertius, who wrote down this letter, greet you in the Lord. Gaius, whose hospitality I and the whole church here enjoy, sends you his greetings. Erastus, who is the city's director of public works, and our brother Quartus send you their greetings. Now to him who is able to establish you by my gospel and the proclamation of Jesus Christ, according to the revelation of the mystery hidden for long ages past, but now revealed and made known through the prophetic writings by the command of the eternal God, so that all nations might believe and obey him, to the only wise God be glory forever through Jesus Christ. Amen. O oh Lord, have mercy on us. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. <clears throat> George, would you lead us in Luther's evening prayer, please? You close pray with us. Fold your hands. Close your eyes. Bow your head. Close your eyes all the way. I thank you, my Heavenly Father, through Jesus Christ, your dear Son. You pray with us, please. That you have graciously kept me this day. And I pray that you would forgive me all my sins where I have done wrong and graciously keep me this night. We'll have more water. We'll have more water after we pray. Into your hands I commend myself, my body and soul and all things. Let your holy angel be with me, that the evil foe may have no power over me. Amen. Can I have some water? Yes, George, you may have some water. Here we go. Drink it carefully, please. There. <laughs> no more? Okay. All right. Now let's fold our hands. We're going to pray together. Do we have any special prayers that you would like to say? What would you like to thank God for today? I'd like to thank Him that we got to go outside. You can go on a walk and play. Picnics? Yeah. Okay. Let's pray. Close your eyes, please. Dear Jesus, thank you so much for another beautiful day that you gave us that we got to be outside and play around and uh, have fun with our toys and a picnic on the deck. Thank you that we got to go on a walk. Thank you for all the beautiful weather that you've given us. And please uh, help us to have more good weather uh, in the next few days as well. Lord, thank you for um, placing us in the congregation at St. John's. 
We thank you for the brothers and sisters there that you've given to us, and uh, we ask that you would uh, gather us together again very soon. We ask that you'd help us as a congregation, Lord, to reach out to the people of Park Rapids. Uh, we know that you've put us here to uh, serve them, and we ask that you would uh, help us to share your gospel and your love with everybody in our community. Thank you. We ask that you would um, heal everybody who's suffering from this coronavirus. We ask that you'd heal um, not just those that are sick, but everybody who's suffering in um, from loss of work or uh, things not going the way that they'd planned. And we ask that you would have mercy on us in the midst of this pandemic and uh, that you'd let everything get back at least closer to normal very soon. Give us a good night's rest this evening, Lord, and wake us up in the morning happy and healthy and ready to serve you. In your name we pray. Amen. Amen. <clears throat> Should we pray the Our Father, Lord? Should we pray the Our Father, George? <laughs> <laughs> Hold your hands and say it with us, please. Hold your hands. Close your eyes. Our Father. Lord in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Good to see daily bread. <coughs> and we need this extra expresses as we forget those who trespass against us. And we just need to temptation, but let us from evil. And this is the kingdom of the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Good boy. <coughs> the Almighty and Merciful Lord, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, bless us and keep us. Amen. We sing a doxology together. Praise God from whom all blessings flow. Praise Him all creatures here below. Praise Him above ye heavenly host. Praise Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. Amen. Oh, what's that? It's a, it's a large flag in the library. <laughs> yeah, the large flag in the library, huh? Yes. Well, thank you all for joining us this evening. I uh, hope everybody's safe and healthy, and we hope that we get to see you soon.